Hello, my name's Glenn Picton. I'm from Swindon, and you join me today on the beautiful banks of Manor Farm Leisure in Evesham. Where I'm going to talk to you about my approach on trying to put, keep putting more fish in the net in the transition from summer through to autumn, stroke winter. The beautiful thing about this time of year is that we don't tend to need so much bait. Today, for instance, just on my side tray, I've just got an array of pellets: two mil, four mil, and six mil. That's about it, really. Now, rig-wise, when it comes onto what I do to cover my options today, we set up a pole, various top kits, a bomb, and a waggler to fish through the water. The thing about this time of year, you really don't know how the fish are going to respond, so it's vitally important that you set your tackle up to cover your options. Being a match angler, your draw dictates where you sit on a lake, but pleasure fishing, when you come to a lake, try and head for, probably the middle of the lake would be best, due to the fact this time of year the fish back off into the deeper part of the lakes. If today, like today we've had a bit of a crosswind, then go head for a sheltered area where the wind's off your back and it makes fishing nice and simple for you. Let me talk to you through my bomb and waggler setup. Uh, fishing the waggler today at Manor Farm, um, we, we're going to look to fish through the water but fish on the deck. So you're going to ping pellets over the top and have your, your waggler set at full depth. But it's quite important to have your your shot strung out and therefore maximise your opportunity of catching fish through the water. Rod for choice is the essential 11 foot 6 match, match carp, fantastic bit of kit, it'll never let you down. Bomb fishing, again slightly different, you're looking at pinging pellets over the top but it's, it's a more direct approach so I like to use a semi fixed bomb with a 12 inch hook length and again being quite accurate at your feed and over the top as soon as you put, you, you've you fed your pellets, chuck your bomb on over the top and you should get a response almost instantly. Bomb rod of choice today is the essential 10 foot method. Again, not big chucks here at, uh, um, at Manor, so it's a case of matching the rod to the style of fishing you're doing. So the 10 foot method is absolutely perfect. Nice parabolic action, reduces hook pulls, it's brilliant. My Line choice for my hook lengths for my bomb fishing is an 014 Garbolino Super Soft. In conjunction with a 16, 16 hook, uh, simply tied a knot as knot to, uh, to a band. It allows you to fish different size pellets from 4s, 6s to 8s, again covering all options. So in the summertime on commercials and a man is no different, it's all dominated by edge, short and shallow fishing. But coming to this time of year, it's important to fish a little bit longer. Now I'm lucky enough to have a top of the range Garbolino pole, the UK1 Evo, is an awesome bit of kit. I can't speak highly enough of it. So we've got three rigs set up today to do three different jobs. Float of choice is the DCC 13 in a wire stem version. As you can see over my shoulder, we've had a nasty crosswind. So stability of the rig is vitally important. Elastic choice is the orange Garbolino Fighter Hollow. Perfect for this sort of fishing, soft enough to allow you to use a lighter hook lengths and again minimise hook pulls. As I spoke earlier, that particular rig has got a bulk and one dropper, but when wind and the weather allows, I also have another two rigs set up. Now the same float pattern in two different sizes, a 0.2 and a 0.1. Now the point two, I use exactly the same main line, exactly the same length and hook, again with a lasso, but the shotting pattern is completely different. What I mean by this is by the final third of my rig, I have six strung out number 11s. What this does, it allows the bait to fall more natural, and where the fish are hanging off your bait, it allows you to pick up maybe the odd one or two, three, bigger F1s. This particular rig has won me a lot of matches over the years, even when the 0.3 version, you seem to be catching, you're catching well. Picking up the 0.2 version, again with this different strung out bulk, can really pick you up that extra three or four match winning fish. Just what you need to get yourself over the line on match days. My well, final rig today is a DCC 13, but in a 0.1 version. Now, this, this rig has the shot strung from hook length all the way to underneath the side of the float. And what that allows you to do is really search the water in front of you. Now I'll leave a slightly longer lash 
simply the fact that I could swing it past my pole tip and let it come through naturally. And I often find as soon as that pellet touches the water, that's when you're going to get your bites. So the only downfall of this rig is that the conditions have got to be right. It really needs to be almost flat calm to allow the presentation to be perfect. On windier days like today, we definitely find a bulk down rig to be a lot better for presentation. When plumbing up, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's important to try and find a nice hard bottom. So take your time, really take your time when you come to setting your pole rigs up and get it right. Now when it comes to feeding, I kick off my session at Manor Farm by introducing 10 to 15 four mil pellets by a pole pot. Start fishing and the fish will tell you exactly what you need to do when it comes to topping up. Ideally, I like to top up after every couple of fish and maximise your chances of catching fish due to the fact not being so many pellets in your swim at any one time. Now it's vitally important this time of year when the weather's on the change not to introduce too much bait. It can have a detrimental effect and therefore the fish could back off. So really feel, feel your way into your session. Again, start off introducing little piles of bait, the fish will react and they will tell you what you need to do going forward in your session, topping up. Some days you can catch on the pole from the off and you haven't got to put it down. On the days where it's a little bit harder, that's when your bomb and waggler fishing come into its own. I wouldn't start feeding my bomb line until high for food and match. Just simply ping five, six, seven, six more pellets over the top and cast your bomb into that cluster of bait and the fisher dictates to you if, if they're in your peg or not. Now the bites on any commercial can be quite savage. So it's vitally important that you have a parabolic rod and a nice soft rod to take the lunges of the fish. I had a fantastic day here at Manor Farm. We could have caught on the pole all day, but I like to highlight that fishing the bomb halfway through your session can also be rewarding. Now, in just three, three and a half hours, we've had 80 pound of fish. Both methods have been fantastic and really is something to try. If you want any, any information on the products that I've been using today, then head to our website, garvelina.co.uk, or any information on Manor Farm Leisure, then link is on the screen below.